started Farmeasy four years back uh, in 2015, trying to solve uh, four key problems of the pharma uh, supply chain area, uh, which was availability, authenticity, affordability and accessibility of medicines. Uh, the pharma supply chain today in India you know, is plagued with a lot of inefficiencies. We believe that uh, using digital platforms and technologies, uh, this could be made much more efficient. People would get access to the right medicines at the right time, at the right price. Uh, and that's where we started scaling this up. Uh, you know, the model uh, got a lot of acceptance from people. Uh, we were solving real problems for people and that's when you know starting from one city we grew from you know solving for problems in a few pin codes to now delivering medicines to each and every pin code of the country I think uh, there is there is a law in place uh, for medicine distribution and sales uh, the online layer was never existing in this space and that is where there is no clarity around this. Uh, if you combine the IT Act and the Drugs and Cosmetics Act, we are very much compliant to the law of the land. Uh, but, you know, to have a common law or a regulatory sort of, uh, you know, clause covering all the players in this space, we need some sort of a common framework which combines the IT Act, Drugs and Cosmetics Act and this should roll up into the health ministry. Uh, we've been discussing with all the relevant stakeholders since the last four years. Uh, there have been a lot of deliberations around different aspects of the business, be it patient safety, be it you know stakeholder uh, safety, or you know what kind of benefits will the stakeholders have, be it a distributor, retailer. What is the impact going to be on you know the overall business finance? legally what is going to be the impact around uh, you know the legal laws of the land uh, everything has been thought through and there was a draft notification last year this is specifically for online pharmacies uh, it's been a year now that uh, we've been pushing uh, uh, the government to you know at least get some clarity because uh, having no clarity or having uncertainty raises a lot of questions just like you know, people think that there was a ban, but there was no ban on online pharmacies. There was a ban on pharmacies selling medicines without a license. Uh, this is big clarity which is needed, right? Uh, and the same way, you know, this is just online pharmacy. Similarly, there is medical devices, there is, uh, you know, uh, online consultation and a lot of other categories in the healthcare space which requires a lot of investment, a lot of resources, a lot of positive push to have a positive impact on a larger audience in the country. And that's where uh, faster action from the government and uh, positive reinforcement in this sector will just help the case. I think uh, because it's healthcare, uh, you know, it, it involves a lot of trust and hence it's a uh, you know, long drawn uh, sort of investment from the entrepreneur side, from the investor side as well. You need to stay here for a longer time. Uh, I think uh, staying for a longer time also gets the right trust you need from the stakeholders, be it the patients, the doctors or any relevant stakeholders. Uh, because it's patient safety, it's about patient safety, the government also would be extra cautious in, you know, uh, setting up a framework for different types of startups in this space. Uh, but I don't think it's true that there are no returns. Uh, there will be uh, great returns. In fact, uh, healthcare is one of the spaces which will have much more returns than any other consumable, uh, you know, uh, startup or consumer good startup. Uh, I think healthcare uh, involves a lot of. Uh, uh, patient connection, the relationship uh, between a patient and uh, the entity would be far deeper than uh, any other space. And that's where uh, the returns can be much more, you know, higher and larger than uh, any other space. So definitely there is some risk involved. Uh, 
I wouldn't call it a risk, but I think it's it's a process that one has to go through. If uh, it's an innovative uh, way or a new way of uh, transacting or interacting, uh, it will require its own uh, you know process of getting the framework in place. Uh, but after that, I think uh, the returns are huge. I think uh, you know questions around the legality of uh, this space, uh, where people don't have clarity. For example, a lot of uh, you know uh, media folks interact with us, and they question whether the business is illegal or legal. You know, uh, this is one thing which sort of worries us and concerns us because the business actually is legal. Uh, you know, there is no question of violating any of the laws existing in the country. Uh, but this is something that we have to keep explaining time and again uh, to not only the media but also to some of our customers, to some of our vendors whom we partner with, with some of our uh, you know regulators in different states where we operate. Uh, it's just uh, taking a lot of time and a lot of resources and bandwidth uh, wherein the same could be you know utilized for growing the business and positively impacting a lot of people's lives in India. I think uh, to fight the menace of fake drugs, uh, digital platform is one of the strongest solutions. And uh, today in the you know, current way of things or the current situation, the way things operate in the supply chain, there is no digital track and trace of medicines for how the same batch or one particular unit of medicine is moving from the manufacturer to a distributor to a retailer to a customer. Uh, through digital platforms, we are today able to track and trace till the last mile for who is actually consuming the drug and what batch number is the drug from and where is it manufactured and which manufacturer is it. We would be able to detect any entry of any fake drugs or spurious drugs and this would be a great, great benefit to the entire industry. So I believe that online platforms is the only solution right now which is being deliberated. Uh, to stop this menace of fake drugs. Yeah.